tutorial for how to utilize remote desktop when you're using a Mac computer trying to get into a Windows computer. Uh, one thing to note is that you do need to have Cisco AnyConnect VPN um, installed and ready to go. I have a tutorial on how to set that up and I'm going to put it in the description for you so um, just keep in mind that you will need to be signed into VPN for this to work if you are off campus trying to access your computer. So once you're connected to VPN, you can get started. Um, we're going to go to the App Store, and we're looking for Microsoft Remote Desktop 10. There's also a link to this app in the description of this video. So just go ahead and fetch this app from the App Store, and let it install. Looks like it's ready to go. And open it up for the first time. So you'll see this screen. Uh, the first thing that we're going to have to do is add a PC. Um, and so. If you're working at home off of your MacBook or your iMac and you want to get into your Windows PC, um, you're going to need to know the host name, um, and that's where it asks for this up here. Um, there's another video in the description that I put on how to find that host name, um, so that's on the computer that you're trying to get into. So I'm just going to use a computer here on campus as an example in one of our labs here in Thomas and & Brown. And so this host name is called tb-203-05. Yours might be something like coe your username, or EC31, or EC3-11- whatever. Doesn't matter, you just need to know your PC host name. Um, under here where it says use your account, just leave it as asked. Um, everything else you can pretty much leave default, so we're just going to go ahead and add that workstation. And then to remote into that computer, all we have to do is double click this guy, and it's going to ask for your username and password. So here you're going to type ACN backslash and then your MyNMSU username along with your password. And then it's going to ask if you want to connect and you're just going to click continue and it's going to remote in. And so now I'm remoted into a Windows desktop for my Mac. Um, this is great if you want to use any programs that um, are on a Windows computer here. Um, it's also great if you have files stored on your um, computer maybe at work and you want to get into your documents or any of your network drives, it's just basically a remote controller um, for your Windows PC at work. So to get out of this, all you have to do is go down here to the Windows Start button, click Power, and there's a button that says Disconnect, and this will end your connection and log you off. And that's all there is to it. It should stick around there, so if you reopen it, all you'll have to do is double click, and uh, keep in mind VPN has to be connected for this to work. So that's it for this tutorial.